I made this book for a tea shop down the road from me and their name is the Good Karma Tea Company and this is their logo little lotus leaf and little hand-drawn hands and a teapot. I just think it's so cute. Uh, it's going to serve as their guest book for their patrons who come and sip tea and they can write write about themselves in it. Originally the hardback book this came from was this blue color and so I started layering it. Um, first we have some sort of see-through green polka dot ribbon which I had gotten on a gift and then it's a uh, a tissue paper that's sort of mustardy colored. It was paisley. And then a dark colored napkin over the top of that. And then some peachy colored cheesecloth over the top of that, which I hand dye because I like to have all kinds of colors of cheesecloth handy. And this trim was in my sewing stuff. And I added these beads on there. I always have some beads hanging around in my stash. These corner things you can buy at craft stores to sort of make it look a little more finished. And um, I like to—I have a combination of new and junk in my junk journals that are old and needs to be used up, things I've saved. <clears throat> so, like I printed certain things, and then also I have things that I bought. I bought a whole stack of these doilies for like a dollar at a yard sale, but you know, they make good decorations for things, but then there are things that are getting reused. So it's a combo of both things for me. All right. So opening it up, uh, this is some tissue paper that was newsprint and the teacups, it, it, it was a gift wrap type thing with a white backing on it. And this is plastic, but, um, I took that off and just glued it on. I liked it. And this is a paper bag with a little cream colored trim attached to it. And this was gifted to me in a swap. So it has a little message on there and it has butterflies on the back. So that was pre-done, so that was nice. <clears throat> and this side, it this was on top of some scrapbooking paper. Had a cute little quote here from Grace Kelly, that cute little hand. And um, this is a stamp that's like a distressed crackle sort of design. And I used white ink on it to contrast with the, with the brown paper. Um, a stencil. And on each page, I tried to make it blank enough for people to write on. But also not so blank that it was boring. So, you know, I got these little you know, marks and so forth in the background of each one. This is some scrapbooking paper that opens up in these little banners that you could write in there. And then there'll be pages that you don't really write in at all that are just there for fun. Um, I guess they could write in there if they were starting to run out of room, but that'll be down the road. Um, some printables, some stamps, some stencils. So some pages are more interesting than others. Um, this graphic I used quite a bit. This was a craft store purchase, which I really liked. It's supposed to be like a file folder. That's one half of it, and I doctored it up a bit here. Uh, a book plate, plate printable with some stenciling. And those two things are like um, page flags you can get. So I'm always rummaging around the dollar section of the craft store so you can get stuff like that there. And then reuse of uh, things. This is a crossword puzzle book. This was probably one of the ones that was either too easy or too hard. And when I have things in other things for writing on, they'll be also pretty blank. Nothing too exciting on the insides of things. So that was just some no paper. And I sealed it with some pretty wa washi tape on this envelope. Here is a piece of rice paper with, you might recognize this part if you get disposable chopsticks. That's the part of that package. And then I did glue some fortunes on it. This one says, a conversation with an old friend will bring you great joy. And then on the inside is the rice paper. That it's, it's more for writing on because it's not this dark orange color and it's a little rough, but you can still do it. And these little graphics are what you find on the chopstick wrapper about how to hold it. 
And then on the back, I've got some fortunes too. You can go ahead and read those on your own. The yellow uh, writing piece in the background was from a, a brochure from um, Japan, I guess, that I got in a swap. So that was interesting. This little printable of the teacups and the mice. I thought that was cute. Uh, it was really hard to find graphics that weren't overly cutesy, if you know what I mean, with little girls. Here's the other half of that file folder thing. With little girls with ringlets and tea parties and just all that sappy stuff with a million flowers. It was just not my style, and it's really not the style of the shop owners either. Um, you'll see that this is one of those paint sample cards you can get when you're thinking about getting paint. And this is from a brochure of our town. And it had like, you know, sort of the landmarks about it. And the tea shop is located right here on Norfolk, Norfolk Avenue. So I thought that would be a perfect little cutout for it. And this is just blank. Here's the other half of the sheet music. On this page, this bottom part is wrapping paper, and then that's a dollhouse wallpaper and a printout of a teacup. Let's see. Pretty ordinary. And this envelope is glued onto this page and this page, and the glue is just right here underneath this part, so you can kind of see it's only attached right there so that it would be stiff enough to hold something in it but then this folds out and it has paper to write on inside so i like that whole operation here uh let's see these are all stamps from things that i've personally gotten in the mail and they're just sewn on this this was this flap was folded over and then sewn on here and this is also from former mail this scrapping paper had like a postage sort of theme, so I thought that went well. And that's from a notebook. I collect, you know, interesting looking paper and notebooks just for, you know, just for these kind of books, so. And um, if you'll notice, this is braille paper, which is always a fun um, addition. People always get a kick out of that. And I don't know that anyone would write on there, um, they could if they wanted to, or they could just doodle around the dots or something. And since this book will be handled a lot, I, uh, like on the paper clips, I glued them in place so that they're not going to slip out too easily. And this one seems like it'll need a more, little, little more glue. Anyway, um, this is a little handmade envelope with a T graphic on it. And couple of pieces inside to write on. This is from a clothing tag and I just stamped some lines on there. So when people don't know where to put things back, at least there'll be some, some sort of idea if they've got a, a permanent clip in there. Uh, this was part of a greeting card I got from my niece. This is the blank part of the greeting card. And if you drink a lot of tea, you'll notice that sometimes you get round tea bags. And that's what that is with a stamp on it and some zigzag sewing around. And this little stamp down here I used quite a bit since it's relevant. And, um, you know, I've got some stencil, faded stencil stuff and some stamps around there. And let's see, that's printed right on the page. And fade it a little bit. Now here, this round part is um, a post-it note, which was kind of neat, and then a little bit of a feather, and the dictionary entry for T. On this half, um, this is folded over into like a, a pocket, and then all of this is just scraps. It's like a little bit of silk, a little bit of ribbon, some fabric, and then it makes a little tucky pocket for this is, um, uh, let's see, like an index card type of thing. Clothing tag. And if you'll notice, this paper has all these little dots on it. And that's how you get the, the pad. You get a tablet of it. My husband knows I like to collect this kind of paper, so 
he bought that for me. So that was kind of neat. And little novelty type of notebooks. And this is an actual candy bar that I had and made it into a pocket. And these are all, um, it, it was some sort of brown cardstock I had that I just cut into strips and people can write their sentiments on that. Some washi tape uh, made into sort of like flags or banners. Um, another, you know, clearance sale bin, you know, tablet from the craft store. My favorite little girl stamp. Isn't she cute? I just love her. Hi. Here's the other half of that greeting card. And it had a teacup on it, so I thought that was appropriate. And here's the other half of the Braille paper. And I really am not so crazy about how I glued these in uh, by the envelopes. I don't know, it just looks a little contrived or something. Um, but the inside has sheet music blank paper. I thought that was kind of a neat little interesting thing. Some cast off art project here that was, I don't know, jelly printing or something. And then the base is from a book page. Some experimental stamping with shiny ink. And this is a printout that I just happen to have laying around and it's just a regular printout, just artificially aged. And then of course people can write on, you know, whatever's blank behind other things. Some washi tape around the sides. This is truly just a scrap of something where I was trying some d different punches, as you can tell. But, you know, hey, you just grab it and it works out. And that's a neat stamp I have. And it's just a blank cardstock with a little trim. And it's tucked into a clothing care tag that I'm pretty sure it was pants that I had. Or maybe jeans or something, I don't remember. Um, a printout, but I just happen to have this sort of mustardy colored old paper that I put it on. It's not terribly decorated. Um, you know, I just, I cut these out with a circle punch, but you know, I have to control myself and not overly decorate everything. Otherwise I'd be at this for months. Um, a stamp there and the little monkey guy, uh, was part of that candy bar wrapper that was on there. He was on the UPC code, which I thought was cute. Um, oops, did I skip a page? No, nope. all right. This is parchment paper with a little bit of, uh, you know, those page trim stamps you can get. And you can actually write on this. I, I test wrote on some to see that that'll take a pen, you know, any day. Don't need anything special for it. And this is super thin, like, tissue-ish paper. I don't know if it's actually paper or part cloth or something, but it was neat. I like that. And a little tea service here. And this is part of another brochure of a map of our city. And Lynchburg, Virginia is where I am and where the shop is, obviously. Um, here's a greeting card I got and I never used it. So I just thought that was kind of appropriate just because they do sell um, some sweets in their shop too. So that goes well. Here's some note paper with different animals. Um, squirrel, let's see, owl, fox, hedgehog. And so I had three tablets of that. So I just stapled that together and added that for more writing space. And this, another yard sale find. Somebody was getting rid of all of their art stuff because they were moving. And this was like handmade paper with these, I don't know, it was fibrous and it, it doesn't feel like plastic. It doesn't feel like paper. I think it must be actual threads, but I just like it, it's pretty. Um, just some corner cutouts here to make it interesting. And that little thing with a book page on it. Um, I don't know if you can see all of these little blotches and, spl and spots. I colored all of the paper uh, with fabric dye and let it splotch a lot. And then some tea dye, but mostly fabric dye. Um, here's a book page envelope with, where's my light? There, a little tea stamp 
And that was from scrapbooking paper and just some blank pages to write in. This is from a pair of socks. They're really neat socks too. And they, I just like their little logo and their little company. It's really cute. And some interesting blank papers. This, I made a bunch of these and I'm still trying to use them up. It was just like this circle page paper, mixed paper thing you do and then you cut it in quarters and it just comes in handy for pockets, I guess. Um, some more of that dotted paper, just blank. And other ones. Oops, did I miss one? Nope. This is, it's tea o'clock. And this uh, was either a printable or something from, I don't know, a scrapbook. Uh, it's a pocket. And then this part is like from, it's from a home improvement store that's, it's either drywall tape or something to do with home improvement. And I got that for like 50 cents at a yard sale. And it just always comes in handy because of the cool texture. Of course, a piece of little book there. Some tea bags printed, little cloth stack as a little decoration. Um, this is some um, silk chiffon salvage edges, a little piece of fabric on top of it little jewelry finding and then under that is actually just a piece of cardboard that's painted with some shiny paint all of this is the kind of stuff that I just have laying around in boxes that I'll just grab as needed some stamping on the edge another printout say so I don't leave anything like blank blank there's always something on it but it's not it's totally you can write on all of it this, I actually put it in there because there's an entry for oolong tea in it. Um, I didn't really highlight it or anything. Um, I just put it in there and I stamped over the top of it. Page, page, page. So you can really see the fabric dye like splotches and little where the powder didn't really mix all the way. And here's a pretty girly printout. But I guess I kind of liked it because of the polka dots. It, I, I don't know. And the black sort of offset the fact that it wasn't, you know, it's, it's very feminine. And, you know, I just didn't want it to be like a little girl's tea party kind of thing. I shied away from that. Here's the other half of the gold fiber paper. This is one of my favorite stamps here. I like the little hands. I don't know. They're in a little glove. I just love that. I think I got it at Etsy. Here's the other half of that blank greeting card. Now, this is sort of shaped like an iPhone, or a, a phone, I guess I should say, and they were giving this out as a promotional, and I think it was to get the app having to do with Lynchburg, and I'm not sure what, but I took one of those, of course, to put in my books. Papers to write on, <clears throat> and here's the other half of that little city map that came on a, on a brochure. There you go. Lynchburg. Another one, teacup stamp. That's a little stamp I have too. This, I don't remember where I got it. Kind of neat though. And if you notice, that's a little piece of, that's actually napkin pasted on there. And if you peel back layers of napkin, sometimes you'll get that little bit of a leftover print of what the napkin was. So, that's why that looks like that. Piece of a book. It was part of a book page. Um, this little guy. I printed a bunch of those out because I think they're so cute. And just some scrap fabric there. And it was just a little tag type of thing. An Archie and Betty comic page. It's, uh, it's cute. It's interesting. It just kind of gives a little levity to the whole thing. And if you've ever gotten a, a pre-wrapped gift wrap thing from Amazon, it'll come in like a like a cloth bag, and it had this sort of cover over the cloth to sort of make it more decorative. At Christmas, my husband handed this to me, and he said, "Do you want to keep this for your books?" 
And I was like, yeah. And I ripped the underneath part of it off and I used this. I'm like, good idea. See, he knows what I like to do. Paper, paper. Little stamps, little this, little that. That's a, a dictionary page, I believe, that I used one of those edge decorative cu cutters on it. This is, might be known to some of you, maybe not. I'll read it out loud. A calm, comfortable time with people you love. A complete absence of frustrations or anything emotionally overwhelming. Often enjoyed with good food and drinks, warm blankets, and candlelight. Pronounced Huga. And I actually ran through this through the printer, and this was already on it. I just happened to... <laughs> line it up just right. And I think that was a neat, uh, because it's a tea shop and it's sort of, you know, a relaxing thing that people do. So I thought that was appropriate. This is a brand of incense I use. And I always like to use these labels because the gold foil shiny sun. I've got it punched and I've got some art yarns here. Well, I guess I wouldn't call them art yarns. Interesting yarns that are always in my supply. This is the other half of the of the incense label, and then just fold it up and stapled so that it makes a little bit of a pocket here. With this is a printout. It actually opens up into a little card. Um, two of those a little short pages that go. You know, I like to make my pages not all the same size. I don't like them to make all the same height, all the same width. I don't like any of that. So I try to really mix it up with short, long, as you can see, obviously. Um, so this, this is a pocket like this, right? And here's your pages. And so you can lift this up and write on it. Then you can lift this part up and write on it. And then you can put some things tucked in here. So when I made the book, I, instead of gluing just here and here so that the pocket would be empty, I, I don't know, for some reason, I glued the whole entire triangle. So when I went to start putting things in the book, I couldn't get it in there. I'm like, what, what's going on here? And so I was so mad, I, I had to redo it and I had to really disguise some of the ripped up paper there, but you know, it turned out in the end. And actually this is Christmas wrapping paper. You can just barely see the Christmas trees. It's very colorful. I like it. It's one of my favorite Christmas wrapping papers I've ever seen. More fabric dye splotches. This little clip you can buy in craft stores. Kind of neat. Um, a printable. This little um, tab for turning the pages was from um, a pack of butter. And on the other side, it's got, you know, how to open the, the pack. Great. Little weird, interesting tidbits. Here's the other half of the Amazon wrapping. And this part of the tag is also from those socks, the same socks that I mentioned before. And a library card and a place to write on the back of that one. All right, so this is obviously a map of the East Coast of the United States, and this plastic thing was a cling that they were giving out at a festival downtown, and it's actually, I put it right over the part of the map that says Lynchburg, and so I actually had to glue that down a little bit. So, and I put this as a flip up page because I did not like how pink this was. So I sort of wanted to cover that up. Um, book page. And it did have this already printed on the book page. So I said, heck yeah. This pocket is cardboard with cloth sewn over the top of it with various scraps of mine. I like to get going on just random sewing sometimes and some things to write on. I have a whole pa pad of bridge score sheets, just for fun. That's sewn on with my sewing machine, and it was to not only give this a nice border around the side, along the side, but also to 
attached to this, which was uh, is tissue paper, just folded up like sort of a fan fold, some buttons, and a little piece of yarn for more of a border. This is scrapbooking paper. Um, I do have some scrapbooking paper books that I have because I just can't resist. And let's see, that same texture stamp and just some blanks to write on. And on this side, this is still the same piece of scrapbooking paper here. So you could fold it out, sorry, scrapbooking paper, and then that's all the same piece like that, as you can see. And then you can just write on this and on this. Graph paper, page flag, some geometric um, stamping, which I thought was kind of appropriate for the, the grid. Um, this was uh, some handmade paper from a tablet I got one time. That same printout of tea bags. This is um, part of a decorative part of a dinner napkin. This was from a pair of jeans. So that's glued on here, here, and here. And I did use a lot of really extra strength glue on this book that I normally probably wouldn't because I know it's gonna get handled a lot. And so I was using things like super glue even when I normally wouldn't, but I knew, you know, it's gotta last a while. And then these are blank tags to be written on. And that has, it's just like a little sideways pocket here, like so. And here is a little paper bag, the first half of it, with some of those tea stamps on it. And um, a little scrap of fabric to pull out this card to write on. And I cannot remember where this came from. I think it was like, it's a two from tag, but I can't remember if it was, I, I just don't know. I don't think it, I think it was free from somewhere, I don't know. I, I was been racking my brain ever since I found it. One of my favorite little stamps, this tree. Now this is pretty sturdy, if you can tell it's sort of cardboardy, and it was from a calendar that was, uh, you know, expired. And so it was like a dollar for all these cool pictures in this calendar. So I found this kind of thing online because um, I'm not really that much of a tea expert. Five reasons you should drink tea. It has many health benefits. It makes your skin look better. You can drink it hot or cold. It doesn't have any calories. It can help you sleep at night. And so this calendar is actually the center of the signature. So you can see the sewing right there. And even though this part is upside down, I don't know, I dig that. Um, some cloth scraps sewn. A doily, which you can write on the inside. This has like a, a stamp of cursive. So I don't know if anyone would write in there. And I don't know if that will be written in either. It might be just decorative. That tea bag print again. The upside down calendar. And then here's the other side of the calendar with five more reasons you should drink tea. It speeds up your metabolism, it boosts your immune system, it's the perfect replacement for coffee, it's high in antioxidants, it helps you calm down. Now on this page, the belly band holds in this little booklet thing to write in, and the belly band is actually a punch card for, you know, people who have to punch a clock. And this piece, this was from some sort of little doodle book, which I thought was neat. But um, this was given to me in a swap, which I thought was really neat. I don't know where they got it. I'd like to have more of those. Oops. This little tuck in here, this guy says, T is like a hug on the inside. And I just printed that out on cardstock. And then I cut the, the circles with a circle punch, the little halves there. And then I used, you can see how it's shiny. I used um, embossing powder. And ink and I I tried to sprinkle the embossing powder around on it to make it look a little splotchy and some interesting pieces of paper here is probably my favorite thing of the book this is the other half of that bag and I'm not sure if everyone will know this but it's a sign language uh, 
instructional graphic so you know how to do certain words, and this is the word for T. And then on the other side is the word, or the um, sign for drink or beverage. I don't know, I just love that, that envelope. And let's see, I've got pages here with some fabric scraps sewn on. This washi tape matched this color of periwinkle blue exactly. And I, that little stamp, I have the same ink. I don't know, it all just came together. And you know, if you're looking to make journals and you want, I call them blank but not blank. So you can kind of get some ideas of what you can do, not just pockets, but, you know, you can take the ideas from this book where, you know, you've got this this little thing here and you've got a part of this there. I mean, it's just all different, you know, sizes and kinds. It's very eclectic. Um, these are just, this is a stamp of tickets that I have that's a rubber stamp. Here's some actual tickets and here's Subway Club stamps. If you're old enough to remember when Subway used to give out these stamps and then you'd get a free half a sub after so many stamps. But like if you're making a page that's like this is just a, a piece of torn paper. You put it across the top, you put some stamping on the bottom, and then you put like a focal point here. And this just happens to be another yard sale find that was um, the Declaration of Independence replica, which I thought was neat, and that was a printout. It was driving me insane that I forgot to ink around the edges. See, I just, I can't control myself sometimes. So I took a little marker and made those dots around it. I just, it didn't look finished to me. This I printed, <laughs> this I printed on cardstock and then sewed around it. And this is some English tool and some muslin. And so that whole card thing was a po is a pocket with more writing paper. And the last page is pretty blank, but then um, in exchange for me giving them this book free of charge, um, we agreed that I would be able to do a little self-promotion here on the end of the book. And so it's got my name and my contact info and they can take you know, one of these slips with them if they want to get a hold of me to commission a book. So it was a win-win situation because the, the customers can feel like they're really participating and, you know, I hopefully will get some sales from it. Uh, this is that same doily and, and pretty much the same on the back as it was on the front with the layers and then this is just a printout of three teacups. The side, the side is pretty plain. Um, because like I said, I know this is going to get handled and moved around a lot. So I didn't want to have all kinds of stuff here. It was hard to keep it flat, I, you know, so people can write on it and there won't be all these lumps of other things on the opposite side. Of course there will be, but I mean, I usually add so many, um, objects and things and lumpy stuff and charms. I, uh... I really had to work hard to keep it flat, and it is a fat book, but it's not so bad that you that you can't, you know, handle it and manipulate it and get get your thing written in there, your sentiment. Hopefully, this will be a really nice memento and keepsake for the owners, and I am very excited to go back in however much time. <laughs> however much time it takes for, you know, people to write in it and just to see it filled up with all the different people's handwritings. I just, I think that'll be so much fun. So that is my book for the Good Karma Tea Company in Lynchburg, Virginia. Thanks for watching.